Entrilateral approach to the humerus. He complete incision is illustrated here. Depending on the fracture and its location, a smaller section might be used. The incision follows a line extending from the interval distally between biceps and the mobile wad, brachioradialis and the wrist extensors, to the deltopectoral interval proximally, following the lateral edge of biceps A, and D the anterior edge of the deltoid. The incision may also be performed from proximally to distally. Minimize any detachment of subcutaneous tissue from the muscular fascia. Incise the fascia carefully between biceps slash brachialis and the mobile wad and extend proximally. Look for the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm crossing distally. The radial nerve is deeper. Identify the nerve in the interval between biceps and the mobile wad and followed proximally as the incision is developed. Proximally look for the cephalic vein in the deltopectoral interval. If it is retracted with the deltoid, muscular tributaries are less likely to be torn. Retract the biceps medially and the mobile wad laterally to identify the radial nerve. The brachialis is now exposed. Dissect the brachialis within the neurovascular plane between the radial and the musculocutaneous nerves to maintain innervation of the brachialis. If necessary, release some of the muscle attachment proximally to allow the plate to lie on the bone. Extend the dissection proximally as needed to the anterior border of the deltoid and along the deltopectoral interval. Alternatively, the brachialis may be retracted medially. Beware that this injures the radial nerve branch to the brachialis. Partially release the deltoid insertion anteriorly, if necessary, and retract laterally to access the proximal humerus. Alternatively, dissect bluntly under the central deltoid insertion to allow for plate placement. Leave as much muscle attached to bone as possible to preserve vascularity and reattach the released portion at the end of the procedure. Distally, the anterior humerus has been exposed to the elbow joint between the mobile wad and brachialis. Mobilize the radial nerve, as needed, to access the bone. Follow the nerve to the point where it passes through the lateral intermuscular septum. Pitfall. Injury to the radial nerve. The radial nerve enters the anterior compartment by perforating the lateral intermuscular septum. The use of homon retractors in the distal 2-5 of the humerus carries a high risk of iatrogenic nerve injury and should therefore be avoided. Irrigate the wound. Placement of a drain underneath the deltoid muscle might be considered. Close the subcutaneous tissues and the skin in layers in a standard manner. Thanks for watching. Subscribe Orthopedics Trauma in YouTube.